Hello everybody. Um, I am just going to make a video on some knives that I got at Big Five. Had a pretty good sale and so um, this is actually my first video um, that I'll be putting on YouTube and oddly enough it's about knives. So I went to Big Five. They had a really great special and um, you know I was wasn't really looking for anything in particular because I don't know anything about knives uh, but I do know what K-Bar is and uh, I know that that's the fighting knife of the US Marine Corps so when I saw K-Bar folding knives I thought you know it's got to be can't be you know a generic knockoff or anything so um, I did take a look at the box see I got K-Bar special edition knife and um, it it's made in China, but then again, the salesperson said that every you know just about everything's made in China now. But the um, the the company is in Olean, New York, which is the that's where K Bar fighting knives are from from New York. So so I'm I was pretty confident that that this K Bar was the actual real deal K Bar. So uh, anyway, uh, I got the special edition. And I got the special edition number 10, or wait, that's not right, 20, X, X is 20. So this is how it looks right here. It's got that pretend carbon fiber right here, but the rest of it's metal. It's got a belt clip on it, and it is, it's Tanto blade. Um, that's basically what triangular end is for. It's also half and half. It's got serrated and cutting and um, it's it's a pretty good knife. I, I like it. It doesn't doesn't wobble. Um, it's It's got this little knob right here which I like because you know I'm not as skilled as I, I mean I've seen some people that can take these little buttons or some of those knives have a loop uh, where it's open and they can stick their thumb in there and you know do one of these things and flip their knives out. I can't seem to do that. Um, but if you see that knob right there, that enables me to flick it like so, and with the wrist at the same time, I can most of the time get this thing out. So just like that. And uh, I've actually practiced to get to do the other side too. As a matter of fact, I think I'm better left handed than I am right handed, and I'm a right handed person. So, um, and oh, it's also got, I don't think you can see it. I don't have a very good camera, but K-Bar is inscribed on the blade. So um, that's a pretty cool thing, you know, a little bit of name recognition there. Uh, and I like this knife so much that I got a second one. Oh, I got a second one, except uh, Big Five was having a sale, and I got, you know, I just showed you the number 20, I also got the number 21. So here's number 21. It's just a different style. It's got more of that pretend. Here's a comparison. You can see the different um, pretend um, uh, carbon fiber inlays on it, and it's pretty neat. You know, I like it. And you know, besides the difference on here, you'll see that on this one, it has a hole here for you know if you want to rock some lanyards on there. Um, Get some of this. Oh, shoot. I thought I had some here. Oh, I do have some here. Some um, 550 paracord. If you can rock some of that in there and kind of weave it, I'll probably do that maybe sometime. Kind of like what I did with my Swiss Army knife. I made a little braid here and melted it off. And, you know, it's just a. I like wearing this in my pocket as well. But um, this Special Edition 21 also has that knob over here because I, I can't flip it with the thumb. I'm oh oh whoa it came out. That's that's kind of scary. Oh see I'll end up cutting myself because I can't I can't do that. So I and this one's a little different because if you notice it has a traditional knife edge. It's still also 50-50. You got serrated and regular cutting um, but it's your traditional knife here. So by comparison Ooh, let me show my left-handed skills here. Okay, by comparison, you see the Tanto and the regular. I don't know if it's called regular, but that's what I'll just say it is. 
because this is what we normally see is you know if you draw a knife or you see a knife this is what it usually looks like you know with this type of smooth edge and this tanto I kind of like it I have no idea what you know tanto maybe the Japanese did it or something but um, it's got that unique end on it so I like that too and uh, same thing both knives like I said the 20 and the 21 both have the belt clips uh, only difference is that the 21 has the lanyard hole right here so it's it's through and through and um, they're, they're pretty good knives and same thing they both have k-bar inscribed on the blade uh, I don't have a very good camera so you're not gonna see it very well but you'll see some kind of anomaly or scribbling at the tops of these blades and I, I assure you it's stamped k-bar so anyway um, yeah these these knives are pretty cool I like them and uh, let's see if I can do a trick here okay so woo yeah look at that see that's be all because of this little knob thing because I like I said I can't manipulate with the thumbs very well but these are two of the knives I got okay so next one um, there's a great sale on this it's army knife okay army strong okay got it big five I did not pay the seventy nine ninety nine dollar price tag that's on this as a matter of fact it was marked down and then it, since it's discontinued they marked an additional 25 percent off so I actually got this knife for 22 bucks okay 22 and um, well I won't it, it came with a sheath and everything I won't take it off I actually attached it to my bug out bag and what I did was I attached it to the bottom you know just like so you can kinda see it right here I attach it to the bottom so that when I'm wearing my pack when I'm wearing my pack I can well, let's pretend. You know, I'll be wearing my pack, and I could flip the the uh, the uh, I don't know what you call it the re the retention tab. You can do that and pull the knife right out. So, so anyway, here's a knife. It's pretty nice. It is a you know, I guess it's a commemorative. It says United States Army established 1775, and it has an eagle and our American flag on there so don't know how well you can see that but there it is um, it is a full tang full tang meaning that the blade continues all the way through the handle all the way to the end so it's a full piece of metal and it basically just has two rubber you know rubberized hand grips on it and it, it's pretty comfortable you know it's not too bad nice weight it's it's got a little bit of weight to it to, to it feels real hardy uh, I haven't gone out and chopped anything up with it or anything to test it out but it is it is a pretty stout blade I mean it's pretty thick so I mean let's see um, let's compare it with something that you guys can relate to I don't have anything you can really relate to except maybe Swiss Army knife see it's it's pretty stout you know for a blade God, I thought I had a pen. Okay, here, here we go. Okay, a regular marker. So you know, I, you know, I'm not giant or tiny or anything by by any stretch of the imagination. But there's the blade thickness. Pretty thick. So nice knife. Pretty heavy. Also has a little lanyard hold where I can rock a lanyard. Uh, again, using 550 paracord. Um, but yeah, it comes with the sheath, and uh, it's it's a nice piece. So anyway the last thing I got is a Swiss Army knife now I'm not sure because you know you got Victoria Knox which is Swiss and then this is Wenger of Switzerland and I don't know if it's like ketchup and catsup or you know French's and Golden's but it's all mustard I, I don't know but I mean it's it's a, to me it's a Swiss Army knife it's got all this stuff on you know in uh, this language that I have no idea about. Oh, this one is a, it says 25 bucks, but I got this one for um, 14 bucks. So pretty good deal on that. But um, this is the actual Swiss Army knife that I got. So if you notice, Victoria Knox. Oh, let me hold on just a second.
Okay. Sorry about that. This is what I mean. Okay. Here's a Victoria Knox. Okay. See the logo on there? It's a Swiss Army knife. Okay. Here's the Wenger. Swiss Army knife as well. Look at the difference in the in the crosses in the uh, you know in the implant right there. Slightly different. I don't know. I, I seem to think that they're all the same. I've got a shorter braid on this one. So um, I won't talk about this one because I got this separately. I want to talk about this one. This is the one I got. Um, it's a discontinued model. And Swiss Army knives are always good to have. I mean, you can have these cool knives, and you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, but it's kind of hard to beat a Swiss Army knife. Diminutive as it is, it's got a lot of tools on it in, in one little package that could be useful. I mean, if this is like the only thing you had on you, it, it can do a lot of good for you. So it has your regular blade, normal, okay? Has a can opener, and believe me, the can opener works real well. Done that already. Um, this is not a blade, it is a nail file and nail cleaner. So uh, it's got a little serrated, or not serrated, but it's got a, a, a granular file right here. And believe me, it's you'd want to keep your nails. I mean, it's it drives me crazy if I have long nails. Um, ooh, it's kind of difficult. Okay, now this is a bottle opener, screwdriver, and wire stripper. The wire stripper is that notch right there. So. Um, I haven't actually used it to wire strip, but I can see how it can be used for one. So that's those are the main tools in that side. Now on the other side, you know, can't have a screwdriver without a Phillips head screwdriver. So got a Phillips head screwdriver there. And lastly, well not lastly, but as far as the flip out tools, I have a reamer. Okay, it's the it's not sharp, doesn't have a blade, but it's pointy on the end, and so you know could be could be an impromptu weapon if you needed it or I imagine if you needed to poke holes and stuff for whatever reason um, I didn't I said not lastly because of course with just about every Swiss Army knife there is your toothpick and your tweezers so and the tweezers are surprisingly good I mean I thought oh, these little thingies but I should have figured from Anything from the Swiss is probably pretty good quality, and it is. So there you have it. There's my Swiss Army knife, um, you know, with with my little lanyard that I that I weaved myself. And um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I mean, Big Five's got some good stuff, and um, I'm I'm real happy with you know with with these knives that I've got. So uh, it's just a you know. Uh, not not really a hobby or anything, but just to me a necessity. You know, a guy always needs knives. Girls too. Okay, so uh, knives can you know they're good tools for different applications in case you need to protect yourself, um, and you know for whatever purpose you have. You know so so anyway um, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, comment if you'd like. It's my first video, so be gentle. Okay, thanks.